Hey y'all, my name is May and I got something to say. So, whenever the subject of dolls come up, digital audio workstations, I'm repping Reaper hard. But a lot of people will say they all do the same thing. It, they all do the same thing, you're gonna get to the same place, you'll just do it slightly differently. Now here's the reason I think that is not exactly true. Reaper is awesome. And the main reason <laughs> I say that is that it is infinitely customizable. Literally. If you can write a script in there are other supported languages, but the main one is Lua, then you can make Reaper do it. And if you download Python and have it and enable it, you can run Python also. Now, of course, I've only actually used scripts like twice, once for making Ultra Star files so I could sing karaoke, and the other one for this, but if you can write it, you can use it basically. And I use the basic um, theme um, from a few releases ago, but you can customize it, you can make Reaper whatever color, you can put pictures here. Anyway, that's not the point of today. So this is a MIDI guitar chord tool, and I will say I don't think that randomness actually works that much, but anyway. The link to this tool and the, a link to the video I had to use to figure out how to import it are going to be in the description. So this has two main features. So right here, I just have chords. Not even real chords, just strummy things. <laughs> now, let me show you what this does. So let's select these. Whoa, <laughs> I'm sorry, I am out of it. So let's listen to this and it's not gonna be good. Now let's come over here and when we're Sorry. To access it, you go to Actions, Show Action List, and just look for, um, you can type in Guitar, and if you loaded it, it'll show up. Anyway, so now let's just click here. You click once, and it goes up. You click another time, and it goes down. And, and then just go like this. And go like that. And now listen to the guitar. If that's too short for you, you can make it a smaller number. And you're not forced to use the same numbers for each one. You can make this one faster if you wanted, for example. that. You can click grid. You can click arpeggio. <laughs> this is so much fun. Now let's look. Now it is kind of robotic. Because even with the randomness all the way up, let's set this stuff. They all look pretty similar. <laughs> Not that. Now I messed that up, but anyway, now let's pull this down here. And I have a chord progression right here. So let's make this the length of four. And let's look at our chord progression. So we want A, 
he snapped off. E minor. A minor. So we put that there. And then we want G. Guess. It's G F. GF A minor add six. Okay. A So anyway, so the first one I keep doing it. So the first one I'm so sorry, I'm out of it. Um so this one is A minor. So come over to the chord tab, and you can change how many strings you want to use. And then this is minor, and this is min add nine, and I think these are major. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, now let's listen to this. That's so good. I love it. <laughs> and look, you see how little effort that took? Now let's just go over here. And we'll make it kind of slow. And then we click again. To make that a down strum. We can do this one. And because this has a randomized function, random tip you can do, let's loop. When you glue the item, it gets rid of the, um, what's it called? Uh, the repeaty thingies <laughs> and you just end up with one big thing. Now it's random cranked all the way up. Not perfect, but now Let's, we want to do this one going down strummy or up. Whichever one I do. Whichever one is the first one. Now. Wait. Not that one. So we'll do one fourth. Um, if I'm wrong about this actually containing randomness, then you have no problem just doing this once. Yeah. I'm doing it once, I'm drawing it out, out instead of blowing it. get special.
Uh, anyway, this is so much fun. Yeah. Um, let me actually see. Um, that was actually with just some free, not even VST SFZ. Now, I'll move this down. I'll move this down, transpose it down, and play it with some bass, which is not the correct instrument, I assume. But it's what I have open. That's not correct. Um, let's open SFC. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, like, these are just cheap, free. Um, this is just a cheap, free SFZ. And, oh, sorry. It's crazy. Because, um, this is just a free little, um, script that I found online, along with a free SFZ player and a free, um, SFZ instrument coming together to make something that doesn't sound, like, really bad. <laughs> use the strummer on any chords that you've already created on your own and that's no problem and the strummer is really cool and can make your stuff sound way more realistic but seriously the chord section is what's so awesome because all you need to know is the root and what it is and you just click the button and it does it like if you know your chords if you know your chords, then you don't need this. But even if you do know your chords, I think this probably is a little bit preferable to putting in everything by hand. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I love this so much. I kind of avoided using guitar in any original songs. Um, just because it's like, you can't really make it sound that normal, I guess, um, without having an expensive one with a strummer, but just this little free script, there's probably a better one out there that you can get for Reaper, and it might even come with Repack, which I should have looked into, but just this little thing is so awesome, and I... That's part of the reason that I think Reaper is the best. And also, it hasn't given me any trouble despite the fact that I am recording video, which means that it's, you know, relatively lightweight. It's just, I love Reaper. I love it so much. And this little guitar um, chord tool makes it, just makes me so happy.
see you around. Bye.